In this CAD clip, we're going to run a little bit of piping uh, to these um, fixtures here. So um, we're going to run cold water uh, to all of them and then hot water to the two sinks from this um, this heating uh, unit over here, this water heater. So let's start with the cold water. So let's say this is our our plan view and we have a little bit of a mechanical room in there. So we can start by just uh, clicking on our pipe tool here in our Revit 2013. We always want to check our system and our uh, pipe diameter and offsets before we go in here. So we want to go in here and tape our system and change that to be uh, domestic cold water and then we want to set the uh, pipe diameter to be uh, maybe two inches and let's set the offset off of look at our level here so we want to set our offset to be I don't know let's make it a nice round number of let's say uh, let's say 300 which is about a foot off the the ground and then I'm gonna pick in here to make sure this is my active window and let's say I'm gonna go down you know the middle of the wall for the most part let's say yeah I'll st stay to the right and then I pick and as I go down I can click down here it's gonna be my cold water and then you, you'll see it aligns to the to the um, to the connectors and the reference planes within the family so I can just click on here and it's gonna draw that cold water pipe in there for me you can see that there and I can hit escape and from there I can um, hit escape again or I can start so I just you know drew a piece of pipe inside of there I can click on here and have a quick look on there now I can connect those cold water connections uh, in there so did I make that a hundred I meant to make that 50 yeah that's 50 so then as I go up I want to now connect that to the cold water here and the cold water supply over there so I can do this in a 3d view or I can do it in a view from here but let's say I pick on this uh, water closet if you right click right on that connector you can say draw pipe and then from there you can pick you know because there's two connectors there's one sanitary here and one cold water so I'll say domestic cold water round one inch uh, 25 um, millimeters and then I'll go down and click on there and it's actually going to create that elbow and create that little connection on there now let's say I didn't want that to be a two inch pipe to begin with maybe I want it to be 25 so I can click on here go back to here and set it to be 25 and it's going to adjust to that okay so we can do that and then we can now just pan over here and do the rest of these so I can pick on this guy and right click on the connector draw a pipe and pick my domestic cold water you'll notice that you can say in here automatically connect um, and we can say inherit the elevation inherit the pipe size but in this case we can just go from that pipe to this pipe and it's going to draw that cold water connection inside of there go down here escape click on here right click on your uh, oh, my cold water connector is on the top. Right click, draw a pipe, and go down to here. It's going to draw that in there. Oh, I have a little warning here. No auto root solution was found. Cancel. Uh, pick in here. Now, is it because I'm too close? Let's try this again. Um, pick on here. There's other ways to do it and right click on here draw pipe and that is the sanitary connection I believe so that's not the right one back to here pick again and right click now draw pipe so what I'm gonna do here I think is I'm just going to if it's gonna have, give me trouble going to there which really it shouldn't um, offset is set to be inherited so that should be fine uh, let's see what it says here plumbing fixture doesn't help me much and I think it may be a case of of, in, of using that inherit um, 
uh, elevation. Watch, I'm going to try this again. Right click, draw pipe, and I'm going to go up here and say inherit elevation, which is why I was wondering why it was working without that. But regardless, let's try that. Pick on there. That's what I want. Okay, let's do it again. Pick on here. I don't have to set that again because it's already there. Next one. Oh, next one is a sink. So now the cold water is going to be on the right. Look, there's connectors here and here. Okay, you'll see those connectors. If if you click on the sink itself, the, you'll see those connectors light up. So it just so happens I'm drawing the pipe and I can just click on that cold water connector, go down to there. Oh, not enough room, eh? So let's hit escape a couple times, pan down here, spin this guy around. See, if you pick on there, you'll see where the connectors are, right there. Same as here. Let's try it this way. Let's right click on here and say draw pipe. And I'm going to pick on there, and it's trying to put that elbow in there. Oh, there it is. That worked. And same thing. I'm going to hit escape, escape, pick on here, right click on here and say draw pipe. That seems to work the best. Click. Puts that next guy in there. Okay. You might want to come up and over and around. Okay. In some cases, yeah, you might want to, let's, um, let's undo that. Okay. You can also click on here and right click and say draw pipe and then what you can do is you can go this way and you can say ignore um, slope to connect. No, that's not the one I want. Automatically connect. Take that off. And then what you can do is you can go to here and then you can go to here and then you can say automatically connect and then pick the pipe below and it'll do that okay so if you don't want it to attach you take this guy off and then you can draw pipes on top of pipes otherwise it's going to try to connect escape escape click in here see just different ways of connecting that okay now we want to do the hot water so we're going to start from this um, this heating unit over here click on here you'll see there's cold water in hot water out I'm gonna click on here and say draw pipe and then I'm going to set my elevation because I want it to drop down to say um, let's say the last one I think was at 300 so let's say this one's at uh, 400 above the second floor okay so I've set my elevation there's my cold. My hot water is going to run right here. Click out. Okay, come along. And hot water only goes as far as the sink, so you'll see that I can kind of try to hover near where you think that connector is. I'm not really going to... That looks like that might be it there. Pick. And then if I go right, is it there? There it is. Look at that. Um, now, because I have my automatically connect on, I'm going to pick on here. Uh, not liking that. Okay, that's all right. Hit escape. Start again. Just pick on here and right click on my hot water connector. Draw a pipe. And you'll see that special snap. Okay, it's going to draw that in. Escape, escape. Uh, it seems to be best when, when you pick on here and right click on the uh, connector itself. Click on there, escape, escape, pick out. Okay, so there's our cold water coming in. There's our hot water. Um, to our units. Now we might even want to add in a little color code filter on here. Let's close this off and let's maximize this view. And let's just add a view filter in here. Visibility graphics on the keyboard, 
filters let's add in a filter and we'll say domestic cold water and let's add in another one domestic hot water and we'll make cold water blue and solid and we'll make the hot water red and solid solid fill hit OK hit OK click out and there we go there's many ways of doing it once you have it you can pick on here and you can start to nudge this stuff around and do kind of interesting stuff with it and of course it all should be part of the system you should be careful and be, pay attention to what system these objects are on when you draw on here we can see this is domestic cold if I pick on here this is going to say domestic hot because you start right there it, it knows that's a hot water connection so the nice thing about starting with the fixture connector to begin with is it automatically assumes the system as well as the pipe size and then as you change pipe sizes if you move along here let's just pick on this guy um, as you change pipe sizes Revit's going to automatically you know add in those uh, pipe sizes now you can see this cold water is uh, these guys are going the wrong way so if I if I want I can pick on here and I can flip it and it's probably best to do that um, from the floor plan so oh there it is there so I can flip that and then it goes the other way okay so pick on here and if you go in, in a near plan view you can flip it so you can always flip these fixtures and you can also add by clicking on the plus signs and stuff to add in um, extra components in that case it doesn't make a lot of sense but so there's a little uh, CAD clip on uh, adding hot and cold water uh, to your plumbing fixtures mm -hmm.